This view shows the underside of the baseboard. The Ork welder and AirDot 2 are both connected to a 12 volt power supply by the red and black wires. The AirDot 2 detects trains above it by infrared detection. Detection causes two things to happen. The red LED lights and the built-in contact connects terminals 3 and 4. These contacts are isolated from the AirDot2's electronics, so can be used in exactly the same way as an on-off or single pole double throw switch. The Ork welder is continually powered. The Ork welder's LED output connects to terminal 4 of the AirDot2 with the yellow wire. The blue welding LED connects to terminal 3 of the AirDot2. The piece of wooden packing under the Air Dot 2 is required to get the infrared emitter and detector at sleeper level. The Air Dot 2's red LED has been connected to wires so that we can see it when the baseboard is turned back. Watch the LED as I lower the building down. The Air Dot 2 is detecting the ceiling of the building. This can be solved in two ways. The ceiling could be painted matte black. This wouldn't work for this building because it has reflective skylights. Alternatively, the AirDot2's detection can be made less sensitive by extending the heat shrink over the infrared detector and emitter. If the LED lights, the AirDot2 is still detecting the wagon. And now to check, the AirDot2 isn't detecting the ceiling of the building. That's fine.